welcome back. Okay, so in my previous video, I talked about landing my first internship. Now today, I'm going to be talking about the work of an internship. This again, this was 10 plus years ago. Times have changed. I'm just recounting, retelling a story of mine. Okay, so bear with me and follow me on this journey, okay? So again, this was 10 plus years ago. During this time, it was like during the height of like publishing. You know, there was a lot of money. A lot of money, a lot of like people's town cars, you know, celebrities, you know, blah, 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 blah. A lot of shit going on, especially during my first internship. Oh, my God. Listen, everything. It was it was just luxurious, you know, to be at a fa to be at a magazine, especially a fashion magazine. So during my first internship at Harvard Bazaar, I already told you how I landed that last in the previous video. Um... I I remember specifically um, an intern saying to me, I still remember her name, I remember her saying, we're going to go through a recession. And I was just like, recession? What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that thing is. And she was like, yeah, so I'm, I think she even like went to grad school right after noon because she was just like, we're going to have a recession. Da -da 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 -da. Come to fast forward, we actually did go through a recession. <laughs> We actually did go through a recession, and I remember when everything happened, I was like, oh my god, old girl was correct, you know? And so, um, after my, after the Harper's Bazaar internship and my other internships afterward, it really changed. So, let's start with Harper's Bazaar. Well, I think with all of them, um, the work of an intern really, um, at the time, okay, I think things have changed now, at the time, it, it consisted of a lot of shelving. Shopping is basically doing a lot of like on the feet work, sending out packages, carrying packages, receiving packages, walking everywhere, going to these places, that places to get get clothes, get samples, get jewelry, yada yada yada. And the fact that when at Harper's Bazaar, the fact um, we was in accessories, so we dealt with like fine jewelry and things like fine jewelry, really expensive jewelry. So I remember one time. I forgot what something from Cartier, some expensive jewelry. They were like, "We're not gonna risk taking this expensive product that we have on the subway. <laughs> We're gonna order you a car to take it to the um, to the what was it to the." To the studio <laughs> like we're not taking that's how sometimes certain things are so expensive that like they don't even want to risk like being amongst the, <laughs> the regular public um things like that um i remember just grabbing lunch i remember when i was at uh where was i i think it was a teen vogue or self probably both i remember i was at teen vogue and um I remember getting like if anyone knows where Con and Nass used to be, it used to be like in Times Square. There was like this place in Bryant Park called Witchcraft. They had sell like sell like um coffee or some bullshit. And I remember getting just one thing of coffee, one thing of coffee, and what going back, giving it to whatever editor asked for it. And then I guess her editor friend saw it was like, mm, can I have one too? And I remember being like. It is cold. It was rainy. And I'm like, bit, I'm like, Whoa. girl. So things like that. Like going back and forth. Forget grabbing coffee, grabbing lunch. I remember one time I had to go to freaking McDonald's. Again, this is in Times Square. McDonald's was right up the street. Grabbing someone's lunch. And here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with grabbing lunch. Maybe I'm too anal. Um, No one ever is going to grab my lunch. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm grabbing my own okay as you can see with we're in this pandemic I'm touching my own shit I am not trusting anybody to be touching my shit but that's on another level okay so and then after like grabbing lunch you know we're organ organizing the closet and uh things like that like so you know making things look pretty and big <laughs> Okay, I just remembered Devil's Wear Prada. This is when, De after the Devil's Wear Prada. I remember, you know how in the beginning of Devil's Wear Prada, Andy, I guess when he, the guy was like, guard your loins, and everyone was like, Dah. I remember that exact thing happened when um, the Harper was, um, the editor-in-chief assistant called the closet and was like, hey, she's coming over. And everyone was like, whoop, 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 
It literally was like the carbon copy of Toes Wear Prada. Everyone was like fixing things and putting things back and looking nicely and literally putting on their heel. Literally, it was like the same fucking shit that happened. So funny. Um, so funny. Things like that happened. Um, um, so I remember another thing that I kind of did not like, and this is, I'm probably going to talk about this. Um, because we are kind of like the low level unpaid internship interns, um, we always have to constantly work and be doing something. I come from a working family and there's laws <laughs> of like when you work six or eight hours, you get like a 15 minute break or a 30 minute break. And I would take my breaks because, um, uh, hello. And I remember I got called out for it. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> Listen, irony, years later, that whole situation gonna come back and bite them in the ass. But we'll talk about that later. But I remember being like, what? And I remember this other intern was like, yeah, um, I haven't, I don't take lunch breaks. And I was just like, what? <laughs> Again, what? <laughs> anyway, um, whoa, we, we are at almost seven minutes, okay? So what else did we do? You know, um, so during the time of like the recession, a lot of the, uh, like the messenger service in the buildings, they would do some of our messaging, but not a lot. And so the work of the interns, we had to do majority of it. And that's where the whole issue comes into play on what interns should do and what shouldn't do is the unpaid labor are they you know unpaid labor things like that and that's where like the mix comes in because if we're doing the job of the messaging service messaging service that's usually in the building then we're doing someone else's we're replacing someone else's job that's a whole new, uh, another issue i will talk about that later in later videos um, I think that's it. I think that's really what I did. Um, oh, another fun story. I remember walking in my first internship, and this is was, oh my god, I forgot the collection was by Rodarte. It was like their thriller collection, and they had like these shoes. Anyone who knows what I'm talking about who followed Rodarte in their early stages, Christian Louboutin and Rodarte had these heels. And it was like these spiky heels. I remember w walking into Harper's and seeing that collect because I love that collection. I loved it. I remember walking in and that was like the first thing I saw. And I remember walking in and being like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I just love those shoes. I love that collection and seeing that was just like, it just warmed. Oh, it warmed my heart, you know, and but like when I got there I had to like pack it up and ship it out to back to the PR company that had it That needed it for another for another um, magazine so things like that, you know seeing things that you probably see on the runway You know you you request it well the assistant across uh, request it, you know gets here gets packed to go to a shoot Then the shoot comes back you pack all that stuff up you send to the to those designers or labels or PR companies So they can get it and they can you know do whatever they need to do You know do a shoot put it on a celebrity things like that. There was no real I don't think I ever saw a celebrity in any of the internships that I went in um Oh, I'm lying. I actually went to one photo shoot to drop something off and I saw Gwyneth Paltrow for a hot second yeah, that's another thing. You drop things off at a photo shoot, you run right back. Um, I didn't really get to go on any photo shoots um, like that again. I was there two days a week. Um, so I felt like a lot of the girls who did, or guys, who did go to like the photo shoots were there majority of the of the week, probably like three to four days a week. They would probably, it's a, they would go on photo shoots and things like that. I did not. Which is whatever, okay? All right, thank you. This has been great. This video is long, it's almost 10 minutes. The work of an intern, it's fun, it's grueling. Um, however, after 10 years, 10 plus years, it has changed and I will talk about that later. So in the meantime, thank you, like, subscribe, all that good jazz. All right, bye. <laughs>